Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, I just started using this new bet tracker again. I advise everyone who's betting, if you're doing it seriously, to uh, to get one. doesn't matter which one you get, but just definitely get one. This one's Action Network. Uh, use it all the time for the lines and stuff. You guys, if you've been watching, you see it up there. But uh, if you want, you can follow me, Larino 83 Action Network. The app is free. It's free to follow people and get the lines and whatnot. You can get some data. Uh, to use the tracker, it's about $20, I think, a month. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, what I have noticed is that I bet a lot. My unit size isn't that big. I've been betting $25 a play for the longest time. And to do that, I have to bet a lot of plays. As you see, this is just the last week, 33 and 18. And uh, it's 10 22nd. Started using it, but then I stopped. And I use it like one or two other times since then. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yesterday, pulled myself out the gutter in that eight o'clock game. But uh, it's pretty cool though, because it does keep track of everything. You gotta enter it manually. That's why I stopped using it, because it used to just link it. But uh, it keeps everything together. Can't click on it because the fucking there's a record thing right there. But yeah, so check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. All right, so we got Monday Night Football. Chiefs versus the Saints. Lines opened up at minus eight, over under 44 and a half. You can see that over here. And uh, right now, plus five and a half, so it did go down a little bit. Over under went down a little bit, 43 and a half. Uh, like all this, you could use without paying. Breaks it down for you. Blah, 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 blah. Gives you a couple of different things. Run through it kind of quick. But, uh, yeah, so what do we got? I got some notes on the game. We'll get right into that. Uh, we got a Saints, a 2-2. Two and two. Kansas City, 4-0. Coach Dennis Allen of the Saints and uh, Andy Reid, Kansas City. Patrick Carr versus Mahomes. You guys should know that if you're even watching this. Uh, Saints got two losses in a row. Kansas City 4-0, a bunch of tight wins, though. Uh, Saints could be 4-0. They blew two uh, last-minute leads. Uh, Carr has lost 8 of 9 against Patrick Mahomes. Both teams got good, deep receivers, so look out for that. Saints got Rashid Shaheed, and uh, Kansas City got Xavier Worthy. But... Uh, Say so this is another site I use. Team ranking. It's got a bunch of different shit. Same thing. You gotta pay for this dumb shit. So like it's like twenty dollars, and then you can upgrade it for a bunch of more stuff. But uh, shows all does work out pretty well. Uh, I can't see you playing at home, so it's gonna be tough for the Chiefs. Uh, tough for the Saints. It's going to be loud. It always gets loud in there. Definitely got some key injuries. Uh, Saints center's injured. Then they put his backup in. I think he's injured too. Uh, right guard. Uh, linebacker. Safety. Mattis or Matias, whatever his name is, might be out. So it's definitely a bunch of key players. Uh, 
Chiefs Rasheed Rice out for the year now. Uh, Saints definitely looking a little more. Juan Pacheco, obviously. Saints got more injuries. Uh, I think the Chiefs are obviously going to pull it off. They're a better team. It's in Arrowhead. I got a few play props. Get right into them. Jump right in. First up, we got Watson. Receiving yards over 24 and a half or 25 plus, depends. A little discrepancy in the books. FanDuel right now, 118. Jeff King's minus 130. Definitely need multiple books. Um, I got this line a little late. It opened at 23 and a half. It's at 25 and a half right now. The idea is to beat the Coles in line. Uh, I'm realizing I'm making these videos and stuff. It takes a lot of time. And uh, especially, you know, I'm an 80s baby. I'm not used to all this computer shit, you know. Might be a lame excuse, but it's the truth. We didn't have all this shit when I was a kid growing up like you guys. But uh, Rasheed Rice being out now, they're going to need uh, someone else to step up. And they got worthy. And, you know, obviously Kelsey and the other tight ends. But uh, I think Watson's going to get a little more involved. Uh, 27 yards last game. Basically kind of average in that, around 25 uh, receptions, two receptions last game. Had three targets. His target's been slowly climbing. Now we're Rashid out. Uh, Bryce being out, I think uh, he's going to get a little more action. Uh, Rice is gone, so you got Kelsey, Worthy, Noah Gray, Pacheco's gone, and then you got Watson. In uh, target percentage. So he's definitely moving up. But uh, yeah. And then overall, uh, shit, I got it uh, on fucking. Go back to yards. Overall, New Orleans ranked 25th in yards allowed. Wide receiver position ranked 23rd. So they're letting up some passes. I was going to go with his long ball. He usually does get long receptions, but they, they got it kind of high. 15 and a half. He's been right at it. You know, it's been hit or miss with them. I've been kind of shooting myself in the foot. They've been going over on yards and going right under on the, on the thing. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. Justin Watson. Couple, I'm, I'm saying three receptions today, over 25. Uh, Noah Gray, tight end, opposite Kelsey, uh, receiving yards over 19 and a half. Uh, 120 DraftKings. I think I played it on FanDuel. It might not be available right now. Uh, two out of four has cleared this. Just think once again, with uh, Rice being hurt, he had a lot of receptions, uh, a lot of targets. He's going to uh, have to spread that ball around. Uh, three and three. He didn't get any two and one. And then last game with Rice being out, four receptions, four targets. Um, Rice is number one, but then you got Kelsey, Worthy, and then Gray in targets percentage anyway. So take Rice out the picture. He'll be up there. Uh, overall, he just went over this 23rd, uh, 25th receiving yards and ranked 27th to the tight end position. So they're giving up some yards to the tight end. And, uh, they showing a little more effort towards Kelsey. Uh, 
Gray's going to get some looks. I did notice usually the last couple of games he's been getting, right in the first play, he's been getting a, a catch. So uh, look into that. So hopefully go over it. Should be easy. Let's get it. No regret. Next up, uh, Worthy. A little speed demon. Uh, longest reception over 19 and a half. Uh, DraftKings, 115. Uh, let's click this twice. Had a nice deep ball last game, 54 yards. Uh, I looked into teams that played the Saints and uh, gave up quite a few large receptions. Uh, a team that they both played, being the Falcons, uh, same type of deal. Um, I think, you know, the Saints are putting up the most points this year. Or I think, what is it, 30, 31 and a half points per game. So, uh, if they can get into that end zone, it's going to be a shootout. And uh, it should be a high-scoring game. But uh, we'll see. Uh, and if that happens, you know, you're going to throw some type of long ball. And uh, Worthy's going to get it. So, let's get it. Xavier Worthy. All uh, right. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Receptions and targets. Again, you know, I average about four targets a game. Average yard per reception. So that's four games. He's getting yards after the catch as well. He's averaging uh, 32. And like I've been saying, with Rice, he's third on the list, so he'll be second. Definitely going to get some shots, uh, especially if they start blitzing, trying to go after Patrick, and uh, that'll leave him one-on-one -on, -one on the ends. So uh, he's quick, and he can catch, so I expect him to go over this. Probably look out for any time TD as well. But, uh, yeah, let's get it, bro. All right, Kareem Hunt, running back of uh, the Chiefs. Guy, he used to be on the Chiefs, a veteran, been in the league a couple of years. Uh, since Pacheco got hurt, the Chiefs been trying to figure out what to do. And they were using uh, that rookie kid, and he, he don't have good ball security. He's been fumbling. He hasn't been getting that many yards. So uh, they upgraded. They grabbed Hunt again. They upgraded him from the practice squad, and – uh, he didn't start last game, I don't think. I think uh, the kid Steele fumbled, and then they put Hunt in the second quarter. And uh, he did pretty good since then. He had uh, his receiving yards. Oh, that's what I played, too. Receiving yards over 13 and a half. He had two catches, went over this. And like I said, he didn't play the first quarter. Um, come on, you fuck. Three targets, two receptions. Average yard per reception, eight. Long reception, nine. Uh, overall, ranked 25th, receiving yards, 20th to the running back. So I'm expecting to get a couple, you know, and, and I expect them to be the main back. Uh, I went with his receiving yards. You could play his rushing yards. New Orleans is pretty good against the rush, but uh, he went way over to 69, and that was without playing the first quarter. So that could be a good play, too. Uh, I just decided to go with the receiving yards just because it was a low number. Do expect him to go over this too, or you could also look at his rushing attempts. He uh, went over this last game, and especially if the Chiefs get the lead, they're going to be running the ball more. I mean, he had 14 carries, 
Like I said, he didn't play the first. So any of them plays are good plays. I just went with the receiving yards. So, uh, yeah, let's get it, huh? Anytime TD, too, down, the, down by that goal line. All right, uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. We do this every day. Uh, give out videos, picks, tips, techniques, sports betting knowledge. Uh, if you could leave a comment, links and comments, help get the videos out there. I appreciate everyone. Uh, it's a work in progress, I'm trying to figure this out. But uh, we'll get there, build up these subs, slow grind. But uh, next up, Derek Carr. Rushing yards over three and a half. Uh, fan uh, Draft Kings minus 105. If you got Caesars, they got that 102. Uh, Kansas City is good against the rush, but to the QB, ranked 30th. Uh, Carr's not a real rusher, but he'll get a couple of attempts a game. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I just think that uh, obviously with them being 30th against the QB, they a lot of yards to the QB. And uh, just say the receivers get locked down the outside or anything, and he just a couple yards, three and a half ain't that much. They got five and a half uh, plus money, like 150. But uh, I just took the safe bet. Uh, he's had a couple rushing attempts per game. Two of the first game, one, two, last game, three against Atlanta. So... Uh, Getting Tyson Hills out. He's a guy who plays QB, uh, does all that extra shit, tight end, halfback, fullback. You know, running that option, does all of them, whatever they call it. But, uh, yeah, I think he's going to go over it. Um, What else? What else? What else? There's two tight ends on the Saints. Uh, one had a concussion, and then there was another one, Johnson. I forget the one guy's name. The one guy's yards is at like 11, and then Johnson's is at like 24. I was going to play it, but I couldn't decide which one to play, and I missed the, the best line out there. I kind of got bumped up to Johnson line, so, so I knew I was in the right the right idea, but uh, I missed the line, and sometimes it's better just to not bet it than the better line that got moved up. Um Sports betting is an emotional thing. Uh, I learned that again yesterday with the Bills game. So uh, just try to keep your emotions out of it. Uh, treat every game as if it's the same, whether you win every day as if it's the same, whether you win or lose. Don't go change the amount you bet. Uh, you know, I know all this shit, and I made that mistake yesterday. I was getting smacked in the Bills game. And I was all emotional. And it was a good play, except like an idiot. I bet two units instead of one, and it missed. So, bam, now I'm down two units. As well as I gave that play out, so I feel like a dickhead for that. But, um, yeah, so just keep your emotions in check. Win or lose, every day is the same. Don't jockey unit size. Uh, definitely try to keep track of your bets. Uh, the bet tracker. Doesn't have to be that one. You could write it down, whatever you want to do, or just write the amounts down. I like I like keeping track uh, with the with the bet itself, so you can just see. And then I put little notes on there too. Like we had a lot of hooks yesterday too. Um, I appreciate everyone. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.